Okay, welcome to Doncaster and race 17 on your car, the Mike Westy Maiden. It's a two mile four furlong chase for the old five year olds and up. So number one is Alexander Clan Bell, two is Clan de Obo, three Dragon Legend, four like Dustin Crops, five Meandre, six Siffert, seven St. David's Day, eight Gemini Sweet, nine Hollywood Broke the Gate, ten is Insomnia, eleven Nevertheless, twelve The Queen's Estate. 13 Winter Port and 14 is Yuna. Okay, 14 of them under the starters' orders here. Good ground conditions today at Doncaster. White flags being raised and they're off. So we're going to wait for them to settle down. And it looks like, nevertheless, they want to take them along. Takes them to the first. And all over that, but a very, very poor jump by Clan de Oboe. Didn't get over it at all well. It's got another 14 fences to, to get over yet. Let's hope he makes it round. But it's nevertheless takes him to the second. A nice big fast jump. Still leads by three to four. The Grains in second place is Yuna. Then we've got Meandre, closest to us, the Black Horse and the Paul Road Silks. Over against the fence, we've got uh, St. David's Day. They approach the third. Everybody's over that. Bit of a slow jump right at the rear from Alexander Clam Bell. Alongside Xavier's Day is Winter Port. They're being followed through by Insomnia, Gemini Sweet. Pink Silks of Hollywood broke the gate. And over the fourth, and they're going to go past the winning post now. That'll be the last next time round. But it's still, nevertheless, that leads them by three to four from a chasing pack. One's well, just at the rear of Alexander Clan Bell. Just in front of that is like dusting crops. And the Siffert and the Queen's Estate. As they go around this bend here, it's quite tight at Doncaster, straight into the fifth, the water, everybody's over it, and nevertheless still leads us. Here you go. Did you know David Bowie's dad came from Doncaster? I think he was born in Doncaster. Take the six and everybody's over that. So it's still nevertheless a good couple of lengths to the Yuma the Grey, and we've got Clan de Obo against the fence in the light blue silks of the yellow cap. The outside of that is Dragon Legend. The pink silks of Hollywood broke the gate in the middle of the pack. Inside of that is Winter Port and Gemini Suite. They take the seventh. Nevertheless, was really slow over that one. And then his lead cut back now to just two lengths to Una in second. And then we've got Winter Port in third. Still at the rear is Alexander Clan Belt. And just in front of that is Like Dusting Crops. One that's dropped back a little bit is Meandre. The one nearest to us and the darker silks, the Black Horse. But it's still nevertheless. Managed to extend his lead to three to four now to Gemini Sweet, who's coming through to second. And we've still got Una the Grey, Winterport, and Clan de Obo having a dream run now along the fence. And just behind them, being followed through by St. David's Dre and Dragon Legend. The Pink Silks of Hollywood broke the gate towards us. And we've got uh, Meandre, Insomnia. Looks a little bit sleepy. Like dusting crops. Queen's Estate and Siffert and still bringing up the rear is Alexander Clan Bell. We've still got a mile left to run and it's still nevertheless we start to go downhill now. Nevertheless that leads them in the chasing pack. Pretty much been the same throughout. Nice big jump there by second place Winter Port. Gets himself within a within half a length of nevertheless of the leader. Gemini Sweet in third. And we've got St. David's Day. And Hollywood broke the gate. Clan de Obo, Gemini Sweet, Yuna. Meandre making better ground now. It's the fences Dragon Legend in the blue. Also making up some good ground. He's like dusting crops trying to get a better position. But still nevertheless, we're coming into the final five furlongs. They're over the 11th. Everybody's made it, including Alexander Clambell at the rear. So nevertheless is now challenged by St. David's Day. And it's these two a couple of lengths ahead of Winterport and Yuna. Meandre slightly wider, doing better. The one that's made still good ground is like dusting crops. So it's distant David's Day that takes him into the twelfth, jumps it well. Now leads, but here comes Meandre and like dusting crops. On the outside is Hollywood broke the gate, but it's Meandre that takes it up now with a couple left to jump. It's Meandre from St. David's Day. Hollywood broke the gate and drag Dragon Legend. Big jump there by Hollywood broke the gate, gets him into second, but it's still Meandre that leads. By two and a half furlongs left to run, two to jump. It's Meandre from Hollywood broke the gate. St. David's Day in third, Winter Port, Dragon Legend, like dusting 
casting crops all plugging on at the rear to try and make up the ground. Meandre jumps it well, but Hollywood broke the gate, comes alongside to bring in pressure. We've got a furlong and a half left to run. It's Meandre. Hollywood broke the gate, these two. So David's day trying to make up some ground and get into the bush, and they come to the last. They both jumped it. Oh, and Hollywood broke the gate. Lost it on that jump there. Meandre just starts to pull away. St. David's Day looks like he's going to take second. But it's Meandre there. Takes this. Meandre from St. David's Day in second. Hollywood broke the gate. Fouled it on the final fence there. Bad luck to Derek Hinton. So let's have a look at that. It's Meandre for Paul Rhodes. A good win. Second was St. David's Day for Graham Clutterbuck. Third is Hollywood broke the gate for D. Hinton. Fourth was Dragon Legend for Leon Van Rensburg. And fifth was like dusting crops for Joshua Sutherland.